Guys, whoa, hold on. Guys, I had a pretty cool opportunity here. Peak Design came out with a new couple of bags, but I was really interested in this tote bag because it's kind of like the transformer of bags. I took my Go radio bag, which I normally keep my radio gear in, put it over on this bad boy, and this has become like a cool little compact tote that I can carry all of my radio gear, and it also would function perfectly as a range bag. I'm gonna show you the unboxing right now, but yeah, this thing's really cool, really into this. It's cool. So, a couple months ago, Peak Design came out with a new Kickstarter for a series of brand new bags. A backpack, a tote bag, and like a, a sash bag, or like a shoulder bag, but like a micro sash bag. And so the, the backpack was like the obvious get for me because it was supposed to be able to carry a drone. Yeah. yeah, and all the other stuff that I normally carry, so I was like, yeah. But I saw the tote bag, and then something and hit me, and I was like. My mommy said, I can't get a knife. Yeah, you're right, you can't get a knife. How'd you get so dirty? What'd you do? So my favorite thing about opening a Peak Design bag, you take your little orange tab here, pull it, oh, yes. Look at that, so cathartic. Oh, just opened so perfectly. But the tote bag, I got really interested in the tote bag. I saw something here, guys, and I, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try this out. So the tote bag is like a transformer, right? It has these cool zip sides, and I'm, I'm opening this for the first time. This is all new to me. It's got little, little pouches on the side. It's got spaces all built into it. It's got these these really cool poles, and they're like aluminum metal. Now, what, what came to me was, it's kind of waterproof, or potentially waterproof. It's got these cool magnetic openings. It's got straps on the side that you could, you could potentially run it as a backpack, get it folded in. And then you've got like backpack straps, and then you can also do it as a tote. So initially I was like, well this is a no-brainer. This is like the perfect mommy bag, right? Maybe not in this color but perfect either a dad diaper bag or a mommy diaper bag because it could be both a backpack and a tote bag. And check these out, right? So this stretches out open the farther you have the, the lines loose, right? Lock it back in with the... Whoa, 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 hold on, what are you doing? And then it's got those same cool inserts like that's in the other uh, bags by Peak Design. Super, super cool. It's got the memory card slots for used and, and whatever memory. It's got a tablet slot here right on the side. It's got slots for ink pens. So it's got these cool dividers, right? Just like the, oh, that's how they work. So it, it starts out like this. You got like a platform and you kind of fold them in and it opens up. Oh, that's ingenious. Can I open I will get out the back and it was not. I said it was nasty. Oh, 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 I see now. I get it. So you can also use this clasp to hold the bag shut if you wanted like an extra layer of covering. I want to do it. Well, so what did it? What did, what hit me? Well, this is like could be perfect for like radio operations. Here you go. Here. Yeah, yeah, I'm opening for you. Here you go, check it out. This could be great for like a mobile radio bag. You could, it, it's both a backpack, it's both a tote bag. Um, it's its like a, a, it could even be a range bag, guys. So these cool little platforms, you, you fold them down and they fold it out of the way, boom, boom, like that. And now you got a big wide open tote bag. Cause this could be the perfect little like to go quick access radio bag, right? I could put my gear in like that. I could just run the radio out of here, run some of the equipment directly out of here. It's bigger than I thought too. I thought it'd be kind of small. It's it's a nice, it's a really nice size. I love this stuff they make, man. They they really do make really cool and genius stuff. Mm -hmm. So we got the Peak Design tote, and we got my to-go radio bag. So what do they have in common? They got an open top, and they got some pockets on the side, and that's pretty much where the differences disappear. So, with the Peak Design, I like having my antenna bag, right? This is my antenna. Figured, put it right here on the side, where it's the first thing I can get to. Just slam that in there. Now, whenever I get to a site or whatever that I'm gonna throw an antenna, I can just go straight to it. 
Second thing, which should be on the other side, is all my coax cables, right? My coax cables is like what I run all of my, my antennas to, to my radio. I just adjust it on the fly like that easy, no problem, slide them in. Okay, radio, my radio pouch can go right here in the middle. Boom, SWR meter right on top of that. And then my mic can get balled up right on top of that. One of the other most important things is my power. Where does my power come from? This battery pack it goes right on top, this little cubby hole right there, it's where the battery pack goes. My line that I use to throw my antenna up. I like to keep a little two meter 440 radio with me. So we'll find a little spot out here on the front. Oh yeah, one more thing. My iPad, my iPad, which I use for digital modes with this particular radio can fit right here in the little pocket. Mm. What do you think, Ben? And then that's it. And if I want to secure it up a little bit. Okay, yeah. Take the little hook here, cinch it down, ready to go. My to-go bag easily fits all my stuff for radio. If I wanted to, I could put the antenna and the coax on one side and I could fit like a water bottle, maybe my camera but here. But that was just a quick, real fast repurposing of, of what I use. And now these straps can be, it can be a backpack. Take the two sides of the straps, pull them down. Cool. Pretty easy, set to go. Pretty cool, right? How does straps feel? I mean, you wouldn't want to do that for a long time, but considering you can't overload it, it's not that big a deal. Oh, this is a uh, strap for luggage. You can put it over your... So this is like your carry-on bag, or your, your extra bag. It goes around the... The, the, the pole thing on luggage. Make sure we don't leave anything in here. Oh, hey, there's a little, there's a little, the dongle here for your keychain. Yeah. Little. Guys, I think I've mentioned this before. I'm an affiliate of Peak Design, which means if you buy their products, I get a little taste of the action. The advantage is that you do too. You get 10% off. But I need to mention that just to be open. I do actually really like their products. I, I really believe in them. I still use the Everyday Messenger, it's my go-to bag. I'm not steering you wrong when I say they make some of the best products as far as bags go and camera retention straps and other things in the camera market that money can buy. And they're proven on Kickstarter many, many times. I think they've had over six Kickstarters now, six something million um, in just product dollars that they've produced in Kickstarter. So the proof is in the pudding and the market definitely agrees with me when I say this is a like serious high quality bag and a serious high quality company. So if you'd like 10% off of anything you purchase, just check out my link below. It's in the description. I really appreciate you watching. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We'll be back to a regular vlog tomorrow, but I thought this was cool enough that I needed to do kind of a standalone because I, it, it's a great bag. Um, look for more of this on the future when I get my, I get to use it up a little bit more. Okay. Uh, you can get this on Kickstarter. You can get this on Kickstarter and you can pre-order it on the Peak Design website, which I'll put links into both, both um, the Kickstarter and the Peak Design website, which I believe you should get 10% off of, of everything. Kickstarter and, um, I'm not sure. I'll find out, I'll, I'll do whatever I can, because that's kind of how I, I view things. If I'm gonna do an affiliate code, then I need to make sure that I'm at least giving as much back to you guys as possible it's not worth it for me to spend time to make content that you guys watch and and steer you in the direction of a potential purchase and not be able to return something as a discount or something that's how that's my philosophy anyway okay as always thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you tomorrow